Hi guys, I think this is recording. Yes, I'm using the new camera I bought a while back because I'm just pissed off with that fucking piece of shit down there. Do not ever, ever buy any camera that's got the name Vivitar on it because it's just a piece of junk. I actually want to throw it on the floor. <coughs> Anywho, I'm going to make this video as short and sweet as I can. Um, I've just put GTA on, as you probably saw. Uh, Sunday, I was at Mum's. I sorted out, or started to sort out my bike parts over there. I think most of the shit I wanted to junk, um, the shit I wanted to junk. I'll try that again. The shit I wanted to throw has been sorted and thrown, all on the trailer, ready to go. Uh, found a couple of um, bits that I can put on eBay. And da -da -da -da. I'm just thinking, what did I do? Got that men, man's mountain bike finished, or well, I had to. Um, I had to uh, fix a flat tyre because the back tyre went down. Let's put that on mute so I don't get copyrighted. Yeah, the back tyre went flat so I had to change the tube. That's collected last night. I've got a couple of... So far I've got two parcels to post Thursday. I've got that JSP Maxilite road lamp. Um, I'm doing that well there's that thing that you used to go around you know called pay it forwards where you if someone's kind of generous to you you're supposed to pay it forward to someone else so as I've got far too many of these JSP maxi lights kicking around I decided to offer some up for free and free postage in the UK now if someone has um, well, actually, I offered it to someone and they have accepted, so I've got to post that off. He does watch my YouTube videos, but I can't remember his username. <laughs> Doi! Anyone that's watched my videos for a length of time knows that my memory, my short term memory is shit. I can remember things from years ago, I can remember things from months ago. Can't remember anything from yesterday. I can barely remember anything from today, actually, but never mind. <laughs> so, just to move. It's in the box there, already. My OCD is saying to uh, trim this box down a little bit. Just a bit off the end and a bit off, yeah, a bit off the end and a bit that way. I don't need to, I can just post it like that, but... It's my OCD. <laughs> Wants to trim it down. Right. Uh, I had to bring the bike up here to fix that puncture because it was pissing it down all day. So that went out on the landing. I've only just brought it back in today. And I've decided when I clip the rear mudguard back on. What I hate about these mudguards, those clips always bounce off the frame. You go over a bump and they just, see, eventually they just do that when you're going down the road. Um, it does it on my Claude Butler as well, which is out on the landing. Um, I need to take that reflector off so I can drop the seat post all the way down. I probably can fit a reflector on there instead. Can I do the same on the front? Yeah. Just use the bolt they've used for the mud guard and just bolt a reflector bracket on there. I could even change it to have a V brake on the front if I wanted to. It's got the mountain post there, but I'll leave it as a front disc. I actually, really, do. the more I look at this, the more I like it, and the more I don't want to sell it. The scary thing is, the more I like it more than my Saracen, but I'm not selling that one either. I just got to remember to pick up the gear shifters for this. So I'll do that, but the drain the should drop down, it doesn't even move. You can see it, look, if you watch the cable. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that cable 
this step. <laughs> I think I'm just going to put new cables on this anyway, to be honest. Oh, it did move. Drogue, it did move. May not need it, but as I've got to change that shifter anyway. Because I'm not sure I'm going to get... Oh, I might get the screw out of there. Oh, I might be able to just change the cover, but I think I'll just put new cables on anyway, because these are a little rather rusty. That won't hurt. I've got the brake cable. Someone's changed the brake cables on this at some point anyway, because uh, I want to change this for a nice clean one, so... They always rust. They're one of the first bits that rust. <clears throat> Viking what? Tech ULT. It's not the first Viking I've had. This would actually be my third. I do actually regret selling my first one. That was a bloody nice bike to ride. <clears throat> Button bracket, all right. Yeah. Someone took us down the dump. And according to Biggles, the guy said he'd spent 15 quid on a new tyre on this. And looking at this tyre, it does look brand new. It's low. <laughs> Very low. In terms of these crosser rims that this is, these have got on it, the export, expert rather, X dash and then P E R T, expert, crosser rims is something I've only ever seen on the Viking branded bikes. All the Vikings I've had in the past, like I said, I think this is my third, um, have all had the same rims. So it just must be the rims they use. Like um, Apollo's use. Um, not Apollo. Is it Apollo? Yeah, Apollo on their disc brake bikes, believe it or not, they do do them. Do do them. Use them um, at Pro Disc. Or is it Carrera? It could be Carrera, actually. <clears throat> anyway, my point is, it seems like certain brands of bikes do have a specific name of rim that they do use amongst their range. Or through their range. Why do you like these crosser rims, to be honest? See if the brake needs adjusting. It works, but that's just too much. I can pull it right down to there. That's just with my thumb. It touches the disc there. But I can do that. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll adjust that to my own liking. Ho oh, hum. I need to find some things. Oh, I contacted eBay today. Because my seller standard has finally um, gone above standard. But my selling allowance is still limited. I can still only sell 10 items a month. Or £100 worth. Whichever comes first. Which is still annoying me. I was under the impression, and I'm pretty certain it did say that once... I start improving, my allowances will increase, but it hasn't. And when I clicked on the request higher allowance button, it wanted me to confirm another um, another eBay account. Or to confirm I own <coughs> a second eBay account with a higher selling allowance, but I don't use any other eBay account. I've only got this one. Why would anyone want more than one? Unless you're a bloody, um, you know, a rip-off merchant, you know. And you're literally just taking money and running, you know, and closing your eBay down. <laughs> but, uh, yes, yeah, so I've contacted eBay. I've just got to wait for a reply. I think it could take them up to about 48 hours. Just asking if there's anything they, that can be done to, like, raise my allowances now that my sta um, seller standard is above standard. Oh. Yeah. They've got to be packed and posted. Uh... 
we've got to take the tape out of one. I haven't taken the tape out yet. I'll put that on eBay separate. Because no doubt there's someone out there somewhere that still uses these old cameras and would like a spare tape. So I'll stick it up there. I know they sell on eBay. I've already done that um, research. even a lot been going on on Facebook really to chat about. Oh yeah. <laughs> Making a display light to go up in my window for this year's Christmas light display. It's not wired up or anything, I've just sat them in there look. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, that's the idea, put one at each end and mount that sort of in the middle so that these lights um, sit in the middle as much as possible. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate, but that's the plan. So I've got to wire these together, which is really simple. A wire from one to the other one, and then just loop out to the power. It's basically, you know, just parallel them up, that's all. I couldn't find something to, you know, put on the middle. I don't have anything though. Uh, I don't think I do anyway. Um, hmm. Nothing that I can think of. Fancy to spin on GTA before I go to bed. As it's getting quite late. I've got 16 gigabyte memory card on this and that gives me just over half an hour of um, recording time. On the maximum settings on this. But I, I, uh, that thing was just recording. Well, it wasn't actually recording. And... Uh, told me there was no files on the card and then I put it in the card in the PC and there was files on it so yeah don't buy a Vivitar camera I know they're cheap and it's tempting to buy cheap but don't they're not they're not worth the trouble you know because it won't last long then you'd end up having to spend like 50 odd quid to get another one so you might as well just save up and get something half decent. This isn't actually a bad little camera to be honest. I've been um, looking at my screen and uh, it's actually quite nice. I should have started using it. When did I buy this? Cool. It must be a month ago. <coughs> Anywho, I'm going to shut down I think. Uh, well, no phone call from Mum, but she's probably falling asleep. So I was going to go over at some point this week. Uh, oh well, if she wants me to go over, she'll ring me. <laughs> What's up with you? Oh no, I've got my Sunday sock on. <laughs> there wasn't a hole in there this morning. Well... Not like that, anyway. That's a sock for the bin. Anyone ever heard that um, saying before? My Sunday sock? Or Sunday boots? Or, you know, Sunday jeans because I've got holes in them. Holy. Holy. Get it? Sunday. Holy. Church. <laughs> I don't know. That's just something my parents used to say when I was younger. Right, on that note, I'm going to 
turn this off and I'm going to uh, put the footage across to the PC. I haven't installed the camera on the PC so I'm going to have to take the card out. I don't even know where the bloody disc has gone now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Whoops, sorry, you know, just smacked him in the nose. <laughs> just as I swung this arm up to help turn the camera around, he moved, so I brushed his nose. Bless him. Right, as I said, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll talk to you again, maybe tomorrow, I'm not sure. I really need to get my ass into gear and declutter the lounge. Ready to put the tree up when I decide which tree I'm going to put up. So I've got one sort of little one and one big one. Well, I say big. Compared to each other, it is one little one big one. But it's only a five foot tree, the big one. Could do with a new one. Anyway, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.